I want to start this video by saying I'm not wearing any pants. Now that I think of it, I haven't showered either. Just no pants, haven't showered, sitting on a bouncy ball. So I haven't made a video by myself talking about stuff for a while, so here's one. If you want me to talk about a specific hockey topic and that's what you were hoping for, you might as well just stop watching right now. I'm gonna talk about hockey, but this is more just about, hey, I'm not dead. Let's start with my life since like, August, which is pretty much everyone I run into, meet, or haven't seen for a very long time. They're like, so, uh, well, what, are you, what are you doing now that the uh, there's a lockout? And all I hear in my head is, hey, you're like a career blogger and you're probably really poor, so has this lockout made you like more poor? <laughs> Shut up. I'm kidding. Most people mean well when they ask it. They're asking because they actually have no idea what I'm doing. Well, for the most part, especially if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm doing KHL highlights and the KHL, the Continental Hockey League over in Russia and six other countries, is actually paying me and my friend Andrei Osichenko to do highlights in English for them. So yeah, while I am a career blogger, I've also picked up some other skills on the way like video editing and basic writing. And I've been getting a lot of questions from prospective media students who kind of want some advice. Learn! Everything! If you want a very specific job, by all means, pursue your goal. I hope you get it. You probably will if you got that kind of attitude. But, learn everything, because that thing you want to do, well, there might not be a job opening. Anyway, so that's one of the things I do. I'm also one of the in-arena hosts for the Mississauga Steelheads of the OHL. Yeah, it does look a lot like a Leaf jersey. They play at the Hershey Center. Please come out and see them if you're available. Uh, it's great hockey. They got killed recently, but they also recently entered the top 10 CHL rankings. Uh, they're doing really well. Leafs first rounder Stuart Percy's on the team. He's the captain. Hmm. Also been doing some writing for the KHL, which brings me to this thing. They want me to take a picture for like my profile on KHL.ru and I'm like, C can it wait like a couple weeks? I'm growing this abomination for November and I haven't been getting a lot of donations and I'm just gonna get rid of it if I don't get more. So, in the underbar, Movember. It's a good cause. It's not like, oh, let's donate to Steve. You're donating to prostate cancer research. And I know everyone's doing a, oh, cure this, cure that. Oh, and it's the season of giving and all that, but please. Anyway, I'm doing a lot of other stuff too, including a couple things I can't quite tell you about just yet, but I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Ooh, and I also write for theleafsnation.com. Please check that out. And also stevedangle.com, if you haven't been there in a while, looks brand new thanks to Jeffler because he's magic with computers and such. Now, a little bit of lockout talk, relax. It's not gonna take up the rest of the video. I really am sick of it. <laughs> now, it's obviously got a lot of people angry, uh, the fans especially, displaying their anger, but also a lot of players, owners, and media, and, and it's not good. And this goes back to my learn more than one skill thing from earlier. Yes, the players are locked out, but so are a lot of people who work in hockey. Not just people who work in hospitality and restaurants and stuff people talk about. And those guys are hurting. But the people, a lot of the people who cover the sport are dying. You know, I complain about it. Some people on Twitter make fun of me for it. But thank the living stars I still live with my parents. I'd probably be dying if I wasn't. That's another thing. When people make fun of other people who don't live on their own at 24, I'm like, who's 24 and doing well? Show me these people. Since when? I know a lot of people and uh, not many are doing great. Oh, you're renting your own place? Well, congratulations. I'm saving up and trying to hopefully not do that. Also, none of your business. Anyway, the lockout, not good. Some lockout thoughts? Well, I clearly think the whole thing's stupid. And Ian White's been taking a little bit of heat. He called Gary Bettman an idiot, which is outrageous, asked for an apology. There are much worse things to call a person, and if you have to apologize for every time you call someone an idiot, we're just never gonna get anything done. And if that's where we're at in negotiations, you need to apologize for calling this guy a duty head, well then, you might as well go find another sport or go find another hockey league because we're screwed. And guys, as a guy who tends to be pro player on this subject, Gary Bettman, not an idiot. Very not an idiot. Most idiots don't make eight mil. Most. I'm sure a lot of us follow Donald Trump on Twitter. But the guy knows what he's doing, and I wish I could remember who said it, but Bettman is essentially the hired dartboard of the NHL owners. He's taking all the heat right now, and that's exactly what he's paid to do. It's the owners that have locked out the players, guys. The owners. The owners of all 30 NHL teams. You think Gary Bettman just went, Mwahaha, I'm going to freaking lock out the... No! On the other side, you got Donald Fear, and I'm pretty sure I heard Nick Kiprio say this on the radio, so I'll give him the credit. And it was hilarious. I heard it well over a month ago, and the second I did, I was like, wow, this lockout is going the distance. Donald Fear was the player's rep 
during the 1994 baseball lockout. That happened pretty much at the end of the baseball season, and they canceled the World Series. Donald Fear canceled the World Series. What makes you think he won't just lock out for a whole season, maybe two? Save the Super Bowl, is the World Series not the second biggest huge sports thing in North America? It's gotta be. And he canceled it because screw you, give us what we want. And should we be calling him an idiot like we call Gary Bettman an idiot? No, he's just doing what the players want. And people talk about, oh, well, the players are going to crack. They're not all on the same side. Well, of course they're not. There's like 800 of them. How many groups of 800 people agree on everything? And people talk about not all 30 NHL owners being on the same page. And I'm like, yeah, there's 30 of them. I can't get 30 people in a room that all agree on something. If you stuff 30 people into a classroom and go, uh, murder is bad. Thoughts? There will probably be at least one or two people who are like, well, let's examine that. So rather than rant about the lockout a little more, let me just end with this. There is still hockey. I'm not going to say all the leagues, but you know the leagues. And people kind of go, oh yeah, but it's not the same in the quality of play. And you know what? Actually, for the most part, I'll actually come out and agree with you. Yeah, it's, it's not quite the same, is it? And that's what I like about these leagues. That's what I like about the KHL and the big ice surface because it's a completely different style of game. If you've ever been to a junior hockey game or watched the World Juniors, you know that junior games, a lot of times they can just go <laughs> defense out the window and it's some of the most exciting hockey ever. Canada and the US played in 2010 and the US beat Canada 6-5 in overtime. Two years later, Sweden beats Russia 1-0 in overtime. One of the games had 11 goals, the other game had one goal, and I was equally thrilled through all of it. And I know because of the internet and this whole weird age, we never need to experience something we don't 100% love, but go out and experience something different. It's actually pretty cool. KHL, AHL, Junior, what have you. The hockey out there is pretty good. If you're a heartbroken Leafs fan, how about this? The Jays just acquired everybody and apparently are like one of the World Series favorites now. I'm going to be going to 9,000 games. Or do something else. I just did a week-long free trial at a fight gym and like got beat up. I accidentally punched one of my best friends in the whole wide world in the face, bare knuckle. You know how bad I felt? We're going to watch UFC tonight and guaranteed he's just going to give me the Rocky like from Jackass. And I'm learning like how to throw punches properly and stuff like that. Like, see, I always, you gotta guard. I always forget. And kicks, which I'm certainly not going to demonstrate because I'm not wearing any pants. Muay Thai, boxing, Krav Maga, which is scary as balls. And rather than be like, oh, there's no NHL, I was like, this is so much fun. Getting punched is really fun. All right, I've lost my train of thought completely and this video is getting too long. So, I will end uh, with this. I've written and posted a bunch of stuff on stevedangle.com recently. Please check that out, including some blogs. One of them is a student Q&A blog, so any students out there that have media-type questions, uh, I'm more than happy to hear them. And if you post one on that blog, even though it's kind of old, I see it all on the back end of the site, I will respond. I recently spoke at my old high school, Sir Oliver Mowat. I'm going to be speaking at R.H. King, which I seem to do every year. It's another school in Toronto, Scarborough. I think it's Scarborough. Yeah, it's Scarborough. Anyway, and I'm also going to be speaking at Talk is Cheap 5.0. I will po uh, post, I can't speak, but I'm certainly not going to press restart on the video thing. This is a catastrophe. Talk is Cheap 5.0. It's going to be in the underbar there. Uh, so it's an unconference, and I'm going to be speaking at it with my face and mouth. So if you want to sign up and go to that, uh, there's the link. And by all means, post a comment, shoot me a tweet. Facebookness, I don't care what you do, just let me know how you're doing. i just let you know how I'm doing for like, I don't know how long this video is going to be, 10,000 minutes. This video brought to you by Kicking Horse Coffee, provided by Yvonne's Coffee House at 98 Island Road, Scarborough, Ontario. Please check that out. It tastes like, mmm. Apparently I'm a little rusty at making videos, especially ending them, so, uh, um.